David Glanzer, and this is Down the Road Show. Your name, sir? David Glanzer, G-L-A-N-Z-E-R. I'm the Director of Marketing and Public Relations for Comet. Which is a rough job. I gotta tell you, it's a, it's a busy one this weekend. Yeah, yeah. What's what's the hardest part about your job on this weekend? You know, I think probably getting up at 1.30 in the morning uh, and having to be here for so many hours. We do a lot of uh, different media, East Coast and West Coast, and it's those East Coast ones that are really grueling. Oh, right. I, I can imagine. What's your favorite Comic-Con story? You know, there's, a, there's probably a billion. I, I, one of the things, and I've, I've said this before, it's kind of cheesy. I love seeing people that I haven't seen for a year. Uh, and there are some people that, there's a gentleman from Norway who I literally see every year. I don't know how, but I always tend to run into him and he's become a friend just almost because of that. Excellent. That's cool. Uh, who's your favorite celebrity that you've had to deal with around here? You know, there's so many. I don't know that I have a favorite, but, but I do remember when we first started out, uh, William Shatner came to Comic Con, and, and in fact, actually, he's here this year also. But well, this is many years ago, and I, uh, I was always a big Star Trek fan. And so he came in, and you know, he was a generous guy, very, very nice, friendly with everybody, just a, a wonderful guy. And when he left, I, I couldn't help but think to myself, there goes Captain Kirk. You know, <laughs> it was great. It was great. That is great. Uh, what's like the weirdest celebrity experience you've actually had here, like? corralling a fan back or you know what I, I have to tell you everybody's pretty nice um, and, and it's actually really amazing people are, are really pretty respectful John Favreau today was out on the sidewalk talking to fans and it wasn't a crazy you know people were taking pictures with him and he didn't have security around or anything and I thought that is so odd that he just happened to stop by to check things out and it was as if they were old friends and I think one of the things about Comic Con is we're such a friendly group but I think even when the celebrities come in, if they interact with people, we treat them as friends. Well, okay. You say Comic-Con. There's lots of Comic-Cons. What makes this the Comic-Con? Well, Comic-Con International began 42 years ago. We began in 1970. And uh, we're one of the oldest, if not the oldest, Comic-Con. And uh, I have a feeling that we're probably among the best. We have every comic book publisher here. Of the comics guests, we have more guests than any other comic convention. We have more programming than any other comic convention. Uh, it's a pretty big to do, and it uh, and I think by the attendees and by all the work all the volunteers put in, I think it, it shows that we're doing something right. I hope we are. Yeah, you guys get a lot of volunteers every year. We do. We, How important we, are they? <clears throat> volunteers are the backbone of this organization. We have during the course of our uh, weekend, we use about 3,500 volunteers, which is an inordinate amount of people, but without them, we couldn't do the show. And they're incredibly gracious, and they give them their time, and whatever it is that we ask them to do, they, they do it you know, enthusiastically, and we're very happy about that. That's cool, that's cool. Who's your favorite superhero? You know, I, I try to shy away from that only because, you know, everybody has, a, you know, is it like a Batman or a Superman or a... I, I think Superman is so iconic that I love Superman because of that. But, you know, there's other superheroes, too, and, and I like a lot of... Uh, self-published comics whose heroes aren't necessarily don't necessarily have superpowers mm -hmm. so it, it runs the gamut it really does well who's your favorite villain oh my gosh you know what um, i don't know that's a good i don't think i have a favorite yeah. villain but there certainly are a lot to choose from aren't there you, there are that's okay you you and george decay <laughs> yeah, george really? decay would couldn't answer that either really i, I now that i you know, i'm going to think about that all weekend now I really am. All right, well, when you figure it out, text me. I'll come back <laughs> well, with the camera. Well, well. <laughs> uh, who's your real life hero? Who inspires you on a daily basis? Uh, two people, my mom and dad. <clears throat> Pardon me. Two uh, amazing people who uh, always told me it didn't matter what other people said or what other people thought. Follow your dream, follow your ambition, and you can never go wrong. And you know what? That has proven very true. That's awesome.